All right. Welcome back to 1111 Tarot. I'm blushing, you guys. This is so dang hot. So <laughs> here we go. We've got the fool here. In your environment, your overall crown chakra is your is blown off here and you're no longer in your head you're starting to have feelings and this is got to be a divinely paired sit oh my god okay look you guys i this has still got me going okay so movement we have our water see our movement there's your water these are your blessing cards that you had okay here's you've got your land because this is desert, you can see the rock and land. You've got your air. And you've got your magic. So you've got your, you've got, for here you've got your cups. Here you've got your air sign. This is just, this is your wands and swords. Well, swords. Who am I missing? What am I thinking about? Fire. Well, there's your fire magic. Okay. It's all there though, because you've got your water, your fire, your earth, your air. This is a divine pair. Okay. I'm just making sure because you hear that so often and I don't do that intentionally. I'm just making sure this is 100% balanced. This is every sign topped off with the outcome crossing all four signs, which is the emperor, which no longer is locked in by his sign. He literally is so mutable that he has mastered all of the signs. So he is no longer constrained. He's no longer locked in, even though it's overall Aries. It doesn't have to be Aries. Um, he's mastered it. And this, this, is, this is true love. The emperor has found the two of cups and the lovers. And it's wish fulfillment. And it has just brought on this huge tower being pushed by this feeling of lack because it was in reverse. This has blown someone's mind. This is this is like they're looking at this as a hermit situation because this new beginning is scaring the hell out of them, I feel, and that's why it was this, this tower like they thought that this would never happen. Somebody's got their true love. Should we get some qualifiers? Because I want to know more about this emperor. So we're going to stand the emperor up here. And the hermit. I'm going to keep your blessing cards and your lovers. And the two of cups here. These others, we're just going to walk them back off. If we need them again, we can go to them. I mean, the empress is how you feel. And I just realized you're with the emperor. I said I wanted to make sure. You guys, who the hell's read is this? Because this is incredibly cool. Seriously. All right, the first time I decide to do a love spread for you guys and do a nighttime tarot, this is the bedtime story you give me. This is incredible. Okay, let's walk this a little bit. Your energy right now is the Empress. This is all four queens. When you're the empress, you're, you're all the signs too. You've learned your lessons. We have the divinely mated, fated pair with the emperor. The position of these was the outcome was the emperor. Your status was the empress. Okay? So this, this could be, this could be any sign at this point. <laughs> hey, aren't you glad you stayed till the end? All right. Now what's interesting is before we get in the others, I mean, we are going to clear, we'll 
we'll qualify this, we'll clarify. But let's really look at these the cards we've got. Like I said, you've got the water. You've got the earth. You've got the air. And the Milky Way is your fire, your passion, magic, fairy dust. All right. You've got the six of coins and the six of cups sitting side by side. Manifesting abundance. <sighs> I don't even know where to put the important cards because this read has me just... <clears throat> I, I don't even know what to do with this, you guys. It's like I am blown away. I can't even explain. Okay. The lovers. Crossing these two. Crossing the emperor and the empress is the lovers. You cannot write the story because it's true love right here. Everything's balanced. And you're in your head. You're 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 trying to come out of your head. You're getting there. You're seeing the light. We need to uh, really dig in. So we're going to put this away. This happened to be the Chakra Wisdom Tarot Cards by Tori Hartman. A very, very wonderful deck. We'll put those there. <laughs> I feel like we need to work with some uh, good tarot here. And that's by Colette Baron reed <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Like, I need breakfast and my tummy is growling, but I don't think that's what's going on. I think my tummy has butterflies too. Like, this is impressive. Your feelings are coming alive. You're starting to realize this is the real deal. Real deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel strong in this. I mean, you've got release and purification in um, your blessing cards. And it's autumn equinox and rain, which you're going to get rain in the fall. Sorry about that, guys. Somebody's birthday. One of our peeps. Happy birthday to David. Thank you for joining me. All right. Let's see what we got. I want to clarify. Well... This hermit could be Virgo. So we have air sign, we have earth sign, and we have fire sign. This is this is an interesting read. Okay. Let me get that energy in there as to quantify the <sighs> hermit. Deep breath. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Okay. We have the queen of fire. So we do have fire signs. We definitely have fire signs. Um, but this is also a Pisces tarot card. So we've got water for sure. So this hermit is Pisces related, possibly, very possibly. Her heart is glowing with amulet. And this could be masculine or feminine. It's just the queen. It's a very passionate, I know who I am kind of person. Somebody that is um, very sure of themselves, but in a confident way, but not in a cocky way. And yeah, sometimes they can be arrogant, but... Most of the time, they think with their heart. They usually, you know, the Queen of Wands is somebody that, that can be a very, very deep, passionate lover, too. Um, they devote themselves to pleasing themselves by pleasing you. <laughs> it's Pisces. Five of Water. I see that seahorse. This, this could be you. Because Five of Water... Um, it's a little, it's a little clammed up, you know, somebody thinking about things, holding off, holding back, 
I just feel like they're holding back their emotions. And I think they're feeling, I hate to say this, whoever's energy this is, if this is you, but I feel like they're holding themselves back. And that's right underneath the hermit. So I do feel this Pisces is exterior of you, possibly. I mean, it's flip it if you need. Flip it if you need. This could be you, Pisces. But someone's holding back. Someone's really passionate. Knows their worth. This person's holding back. Two of water. Yeah, they're all about um, this two of cups. Again, you've got two of cups twice, which is, you know, it's, it's two cups being mingled together. And look how beautiful the goldfish are. Again, Pisces energy. So Pisces, the the water sign wants this to go. The water sign's like, let's do this. But I feel like the earth air sign, like, yeah. Okay, so if this is a fire sign or a water sign, you're a go in this reading. And if you are an air sign or an earth sign, you're really like not sure. It's like you got, you just came out of something bad and you're scared to go forward. Like you're having to self-reflect is what this feels. I feel like you're self-reflecting a lot. Oh, <laughs> you got the reverse temptation. I think you think this is temptation. And that you're scared to take a bite. But it's not. It's in reverse, you guys. Look at that. This is incredible. Oh, that that's what's going on. Now, what I want to do is I want to take this energy here. Um, I'm going to slide it aside. So I feel one of you here, this hermit person that's trying to hold back. Because fearing this isn't right, this maybe isn't the one, you know, all in their head, that's their energy. And then the other person is like, I'm so passionate, I know my worth, I know this would be a fabulous beginning, this is well balanced, you know, I can feel it, this would be abundance, this would be everything. And I want to qualify a little bit, blending these cups that we've got going down the middle here. Because we have the Six of Coins and the Six of Cups, which is both basically a form of abundance right down the middle of the spread. So this may help the one, this message may be for that air sign or that earth sign. And it could be Virgo. It could be the Gemini with the lovers. You've also got the Two of Cups, which is also to me a Gemini card. Um, I don't see a lot of fire. I see a lot of water. I see a little bit of fire. I see a lot of water and I see a lot of air. Okay. All right. Maybe the good tarot is done with us today. Maybe we need a different deck. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get a different deck. All right. Let's see here. April, one of the uh, members here says good morning and so does Leanne. So that's awesome to get to share that with y'all. They're, uh, oh, wow. Okay. This can be seen two ways because it's a seven and it, it shows forward movement because you've got the two sixes up here and now we have the seven in the middle, okay? But this is the seven of pentacles. Um, if that keeps beeping, we'll shut it off. However, it can be seen as you reap what you sow, or it can be considered harvest time. And I feel that on this side with the hermit, the five of water, they're like, did I do good enough that if I harvest this, I'm this is it? How do I know this is it? And I think this person over here with this, with this water energy, this passionate water energy, is saying it's harvest time. It's harvest time. So look up 6-6 six, six because that that has a meaning for you. It really does. It's waiting. It's from this read, considering an extended read by just simple, a bonus read, if you will. Is there a way for me to just shut this off? Let me look here, you guys. I apologize. Hey, I keep it real. 
turn off from Google Chrome. There we go. How likely would I recommend it? To all my friends. Wow. So this is everything. Remember, you had crowning your spread in the very beginning of the first part of the read. Whoa, we just, look at that. Shift your perspective. Woo. Get the wrinkles out. And here we go. This is really important when you get this card because, and we're going to go over it. In the very beginning of this entire thing, um, where is it? Nine of Cups. That was crossing your tower moment. That is wish fulfillment, okay? Crossing you right now. Your wishes are being granted. And the proof is between your five of water, where you're like, is this really it? Self-doubt, really thinking it out. And this other person's two of water, which is saying, I'm ready for the two of cup. I'm fully committed. This is the real deal. I'll give it my 100%. I'll balance this with you. I will co-create with you a balanced, a fork place you have the star the wish fulfillment healing balanced everything that you see in and i'm getting excited Woo! okay this star you have the water okay you have the water look movement always nothing stagnant in this relationship coming guys in this, you have the star, you have ground, right? You have earth, earth. Vision quest. It's what you're here for on this planet. This is your guided path. This is your destiny, your fate. Earth, earth, okay? Now, let's keep going. Sky, air. She's breathing all this fresh air. She's pouring water all over and she's breathing this beautiful fresh air. Look how healthy her body is. Air. Air sign. The sun and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars. Seven stars. Magic. Magic. Where is that all below? Seven. You go six, six, seven, seven. I kid you not. You can't make this up. Well, you got 17 for the store star, which is actually an eight. So that's forward. So you go six, six, seven, eight. I apologize. I had it mixed up. Don't want to miss. Cause... Oh, and then right below it, I got the nine of cups laying on the table. Look at this, you guys. Six, six. So that's where you held for a moment. Think about it, right? Get your hermit all figured out. Realize that this, you holding back, isn't helping. This is where you need to be. You're on the right path. I don't know what more we got to tell you. It's your wish fulfillment. It's the right thing. It's here. It's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Whew. I'm lightheaded. Seriously. Incredible read. I want to use one more deck here. Um, This deck, it's called... I don't remember. I just got it. I'm so excited. And Thomas, again, thank you for donating this deck. Rose's, Rose Gold Foiled. What's the name of it? The Threads of Fate. Woo-woo. What way? This way. Rose Edition Oracle Cards. So I want to grab a couple Oracle Cards here for us. And we're going to read the book as well. And then I'm going to go eat something. Because my tummy is growing. All right, guys, here we go. Give us a little bit of information through this Oracle deck. How we can be sure, <laughs> as if you need more, that this is divinely guided. Emperor and Empress. I mean, look, you guys. Look at this. Look at her looking at him. Yeah. This is the Empress. Where are we? I feel like I'm drunk when I do this because it's the reverse of everything I think on the camera. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Love it, love it, love it energy. This is my first love. Read it, dedicated. Like I was like, okay. 
And so for this story to unfold in front of me, I feel like we just wrote the, the romance of 2020 right here. And the thing is, is this is going to resonate with so many because divinely par divine partners are being brought together in 2020. Take the risk. I am not kidding. Bam, drop the tarot cards. Take the damn risk. I'm not trying to be mean, but Lord have mercy. Look at this. Look at this card. What do you see? I'm not going to tell you what I see. You look at this card. I do see Taurus energy too. So there is earth energy on this side. Earth and air. And over here, I see a lot of water signs. Take the risk. Let's read it. I mean, seriously. I love this deck. It just gets to the point and um, it gives me so much understanding. I'm going to lighten it up in here a little bit to read this, to find it in the book. I'm just looking through the book randomly. I have no idea where we're going to find it because you never know what cards you're going to get. Yeah, you, you have been really um, holding back. I think you have had Dare I say, um, something occurred that just took you out of your head. And now you're feeling the love, but you're slipping back in your head a little bit. And you're, you're doubting whether it, it, how do you know this is real? How do you know this is real? And this is how you know. This is how you know this is divinely guided. Relax, enjoy it. You can trust it. It says, take a risk. Risks are personal to each one of us. To some, climbing a mountain doesn't feel risky. To others, having a conversation with a stranger does. What has been calling you that you have been afraid to do? Comfort kills growth. It is important that we regularly do things that push the envelope, that make us feel nervous, apprehensive, and uneasy with the exception of physical danger. This card is asking you to take the plunge and throw up my belly and... Do the thing that intimidates you. Trust that the net will appear after you after you jump. Okay, let's stop there for a minute. Mountain goat. Definitely a Capricorn feeling to that right there. Um, this is a leap of faith. This is a, a um, leap of faith <laughs> in all ways. It really is. But your your net will be there. I've got mountain goat stinging nettle, which actually I got stung several times yesterday out on a hike. I don't know if it'll show up. I had five stinging nettle marks across my arm. And uh, so we've got stinging nettle. And then we have fire agate. So I do see all the different signs in here. But it, it's amazing read for two divines. So this is definitely a divine masculine and a divine feminine that are coming together. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Do we want to read the stinging nettle? Stinging nettle is a plant with abundance of medicine. It is one of the most nourishing and healing plants there is. The majority of people, whether plant folk or not, are aware of the nettle due to the fact that it stings when you touch it. It has tiny hollow hairs on the leaves, and when you touch it, the little hairs inject a fluid to irritate the attacker. But if you are willing to take the risk of harvesting this amazing plant. You have access to its amazing medicine. Stinging nettle guides us out of the fog and into a life that we find invigorating. It teaches us that once we get past the initial discomfort, the risk can be incredibly nourishing. You have to leave your comfort zone for this, guys. Woo! I just flipped a card accidentally when I put it down, and I kid you not, I can't make this up. Holy crap. Spring equinox rebirth, and look at the rabbit. This is a love. Guess what? This is a love read. What do rabbits mean to you? Butterflies in her hair. Right over... She wants to share her love with you. He wants to share his love with you. Whichever resonates, flip it if you need to. Incredible read. I don't even want to leave this moment. But 
I will see you again soon. I want to just say, I am so honored and appreciative to be of service to you today. This was, uh, my cheeks are flushed. I like the passion in this was incredible. So thank you for sharing this with me. And if you're still here, I know it resonated with you. And I feel like you're going to be like, yep, I am going to go get my red dress, my red shoes and get my hair did because it's getting on tonight. I, I mean, that's how I feel. So with that, you guys. I appreciate all support to my channel. Please hit that like, subscribe, and if it's still red, why is it red? Make it gray, please. And uh, I, I just want to thank you for your time and uh, sharing yourself with me. Much love, much light. Namaste.